talking about IVF or in vitro fertilization. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Aditi Tandon, fertility consultant and endoscopic surgeon practicing at Dr. Sudha Tandon's IVF fertility endoscopy and maternity center in Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. What is IVF? IVF is a procedure in which the eggs and the sperms are fertilized outside the body and the formed embryo is then inserted into the uterus for implantation. When does one need IVF? In severe male factor infertility, like when the male sperm count is very low or if the motility is very poor. In conditions like endometriosis, unexplained infertility and severe PCOS where several cycles of IUI have been tried. For women with low ovarian egg reserve, if a couple has been trying for one year without being successful and has also tried several cycles of IUI without any luck, they may need IVF. If you or your partner are at a risk of transmitting a genetic disorder to your child, this may have to be checked by pre-implantation genetic testing, which is PGT, which is only possible via IVF. Older women above the age of 37-38 may have a poor egg reserve. They may need eggs from a younger woman in order to conceive. This is called as egg donation. Some younger women may also face this difficulty of having a poor ovarian reserve. Egg donation is possible only through IVF. For women without a functional uterus or for whom pregnancy may pose a serious health risk, they may need a surrogate to carry their pregnancy. Surrogacy again is possible only through IVF. How is IVF performed? Women undergoing IVF are given special hormonal injections in order to encourage growth of their eggs in the ovary. During this course, we perform serial transvaginal ultrasounds to see if the ovaries are responding to these hormonal injections. Once these follicles in the ovaries are mature enough, a final trigger is given, following which 36 hours later, the eggs are retrieved via a procedure called the egg pickup. This procedure is performed under anesthesia and it is done via a needle through ultrasound guidance transvaginally. The eggs that are collected are then injected with the sperms of the male partner using a procedure called as intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI. These eggs are then kept in a special incubator and checked for fertilization after 24 hours. The embryos that are then formed are transferred using a special tube or catheter into the uterus either on day 3 when they are cleavage stage or on day 5 when they are blastocysts. Implantation of the embryo occurs over the next two weeks and this is tested by a serum pregnancy test or a beta HCG. The success rates of IVF depend on various factors primarily on the age of the woman and the quality of the sperms and the eggs. For implantation to be successful, a normal uterine cavity is essential. With all these factors being favorable, the success rates of IVF are about 40 to 45 percent. So, if you think you may need IVF, do not delay it as it truly is a medical miracle. It provides hope when all other options seem to have failed.